This is allowing it to connect to Wi-Fi. Now I'm going to update the operating system. the staging. And the next thing we're going to do, we're going to update the stage now in MX version. This one requires two. back into stage now and now what we're going to do is we're going to or install the enterprise web browser it's also going to pull over some uh, configuration file and the license Okay, next what we're going to do is we're going to install the enterprise home screen. It's also going to copy over the predefined settings and set it as the default launcher. As you can see, it became the default launcher. Now the next step is to set up Data Wedge to work with Enterprise Browser. So that's going to be the next one. Oh. In order for this to work, we have to log in as an admin. And we're going to go to stage now stage another so now if I go to launch the enterprise browser now we're to demonstrate scan See it scanned. 
Now if I want to put it in kiosk mode, I can copy over this XML file and push it through ADB. And now when I exit here, it'll automatically bring up the web browser, even when I close it. So now if I want to get out of it, I have to push a different file. So here I'm going to go back to my terminal. I'm going to do the same command, just sending a different file. So I should be able to come back to here. Now, if I go and push the kiosk mode again, automatically put it up to the browser. I just pushed it off to go back to normal.